What is a Wi-Fi Ranger? A Wi-Fi Ranger is a Wi-Fi extender. Imagine you're inside of your metal trailer and trying to use your laptop. The metal of the trailer is blocking the Wi-Fi signals to the park's antenna system. Sometimes the park's antennas are far away and hard to reach even when you're outside. With the Wi-Fi Ranger Elite, you install the Ranger Go 2 inside and an Elite antenna outside of your trailer. The outside antenna can reach much farther because it's a better antenna and it's outside of your RV. This is my second generation Wi-Fi Ranger. It worked pretty well, but it's time for an upgrade. In the Wi-Fi Ranger Elite package, you'll get the Elite external antenna with the weatherproof cabling and the Ranger Go 2 which mounts inside your RV. The Go 2 sends power to the Elite via the included Cat5 cable. Here I'm trying to remove the old Ranger for the Elite. I've mounted mine to the original TV antenna mast on my 1960 Airstream. The higher the better. You don't want your RV to block the signal. Normally you don't need to rewire the cable. I installed a weatherproof bulkhead Cat5 jack on my Airstream, so I wanted to shorten up the cable. I used a special tool to install the RJ45 plug. This is the Wi-Fi Ranger Go 2. It's the inside piece of the Elite system. The Go 2 powers the outside Elite antenna and offers wired jacks for printers or PCs inside your RV. It came with a 110 plug for power or a 12 volt DC plug. I'll be using the 12 volt DC plug. It's a direct replacement for my Wi-Fi Ranger Go. Just plug in the power and the blue cable that runs to the outside antenna. Time to log in and configure the system. Each Wi-Fi Ranger starts with a special Wi-Fi network and password so that you can get in and configure it. The Go2 has Wi-Fi as well as the outside Elite antenna. You can connect to an external Wi-Fi service from either one. I'll first scan for Wi-Fi networks using the Go2, which is inside my Airstream, and then I'll compare it to the Elite, which is outside. The Go2 only picks up 12 networks, which is probably better than my laptop would do. Now I'll check the Elite by clicking on Elite and Scan. The Elite found 26 networks. That's a big difference. It's because it's mounted outside, but also because of the higher quality antenna. Now I have the system connect to my home Wi-Fi for service. You do the same thing at a campground. Just choose the network and then connect. Add the password if required. The Wi-Fi Ranger saves the passwords, so next time you'll be good to go. When you're online, the entry will turn green, letting you know which one you're on. It will also perform a speed test. Now that we are connected to the internet via the Ranger system, I'll conduct a couple speed tests. The first test is through the Ranger, and the second one is direct. You can see that there is quite a difference. Since the Wi-Fi Ranger antenna is collecting the internet service, as well as delivering it to your computers, tablets, and phones, there will be some inherent speed reductions. This is normal for Wi-Fi extenders. For most use cases, it won't make that much difference. The real difference will be that you can get some service via the Ranger when without it you might not get any. The Wi-Fi Ranger can be set to roll over to cellular data if there is no Wi-Fi present, it can monitor data usage, and it can connect securely back to your home network. To learn more, visit the Wi-Fi Ranger website. You've heard the theory, you've seen the installation, now let's get down to what it's really all about. Sitting back in our trailer, using our Wi-Fi. So I got my trusty Apple iPad here, and I'm using the internal Wi-Fi of the iPad 
to see how many Wi-Fi networks are available. And right now I just see, I see my house network because I'm right next to my house. And I see the two Wi-Fi Ranger devices, the GoTo and the Elite. And I see uh, evidently one more neighbor here. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, and I have a guest network, so five, five networks. So now I will connect to the GoTo and enter my password. So I'm logging into the GoTo and the GoTo is scanning the area for networks using the outside Elite antenna. So instead of just having the four or five networks available to my iPad inside of my trailer, I have, oh, let's see if I can count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So the iPad now can select from a total of about, what I say, 30 different networks. So there you have it. Um, that's what it's all about. All that work comes down to you just being to sit here and get Wi-Fi without being frustrated. So I hope that really clears up what the Wi-Fi Ranger does and uh, how you can install it. I'm Tim Shepard from the Vintage Airstream Podcast. Come visit us at thevap.com. Thanks for watching.